I was not quite sure what to expect when I arrived to Leticia. During my ride from the airport, I got a grasp of the sheer size of this town, and it's definitely much bigger than I had expected. So just in case you need to make a phone call, there's a public phone here, but it says here, SOS, save our souls. You can't. How are you going to save my soul? Trying food and drinks is definitely one of the reasons why I travel. Sometimes you get lucky with the taste, and sometimes you don't. It tastes like sour milk that has been sitting um, in a warm place for about three weeks. That's exactly how it tastes. I don't know if you ever tasted that, but um, surprisingly, it tastes good. <laughs> As a tri-region area, Leticia is the corner where Colombia meets Brazil and Peru. It is a melting pot. Half of its residents are from the surrounding indigenous communities, mixed with Peruvians and Brazilians. Leticia's indoor market is very unique. You will be amazed by the diversity of creature that comes from just down the street. People here rely heavily on fish and vegetables for food, as red meat is very hard to come by. Try my Spanish. Tiger. Oso, pero es oso. Derfil el arrosta. Rana. Dogan. Loro. Sirviento. Look at that. It's called Mohoy. Mm. It tastes like a worm. <laughs> it just tastes like a worm. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything else. It tastes like a worm. This one is a fatty. Look at this one. It's a fatty worm. And I'm sure it has a lot of juice. <laughs> All right, bismillah. Hmm? Delicioso.
perhaps the most well-known facet of Leticia is the Daily Bird Show. Every evening, Leticia's resident parakeets come from the jungle to roost safely in Santander Park. At about 6 p.m., the noise is truly deafening. I can't tell you how loud it is. Just... Wow. Exactly 5 o'clock, they start arriving. I hear to stay the night. Unbelievable.